Uh, microbiologists are always changing names. It, it drives me crazy. Um, this organism, Truparella uh, pyogenes, used to be known as Chronibacterium and Actino and Arcano. Um, now Truparella seems to be the, uh, the flavor of the month. Um, but it, it causes abscessations. It's not a, a big soul entity, uh, except in, in sheep you've got Caseus lymphadenitis with uh, Chronibacterium pseudotuberculosis. That's kind of separate. That's very difficult to treat. Uh, will cause uh, isolated cases of mastitis, some are mastitis. Again, very hard to treat. Uh, pneumonia, often as secondary invaders, not so much as a primary pathogen, but as secondary invaders. Because this is really prone to form abscesses and purulent exudate, if you can drain it, uh, that helps a great deal. But regardless, penicillin is your drug of choice. Uh, other beta-lactams uh, can work. Uh, and here are some other things that are, are noted. The, um, uh, uh, some labs actually um, may not even run a susceptibility on, uh, on one of these because penicillin is so uh, susceptible to it. But uh, so Truparella and most of your chronic bacteria, penicillins are your drug of choice. And then, uh, I hate this disease, lumpy jaw. It's caused by Actinomyces bovis. Uh, remember, it has those sulfur granules, depending on where you get it in the disease. If you lance this open, uh, it'll have those sulfur granules as little macro colonies of Actino. Uh, it forms a local chronic uh, abscess, granulomatous abscess involving either the mandible or more commonly, uh, well, the maxilla or more commonly the mandible. You can see it here. Now, if you can get to it before it invades the bone, you got a chance, all right? And oftentimes, we will lance those and use a variety of things. Sodium iodide IV is used. That's a better treatment for wooden tongue. I'll mention on the next slide. It's not terribly effective. Uh, would add uh, an antibiotic uh, like penicillin, any of these would uh, work. Anecdotally, oral isoniazid, which is an antituberculosis drug, has been used. That's because of the chronic, chronic granulomatous nature of this. Uh, but mostly it's sodium iodide uh, with penicillin. But once uh, it's into the bone, and you can see the mo model osteomyelitis in this bone, it's virtually impossible to treat. Uh, also, the longer it goes, not only is it more likely to uh, uh, involve the bone, but it's going more likely to involve the vessels and the nerves run into the mandible. So it's not like you can just go in and cut it out. Again, early on, yes, but later on, it's just too invasive to uh, to do that. So you're uh, you'll get them where they're it's draining, where they'll do okay, but the, Odds are they'll never get rid of it. They'll always have that to some degree once it gets into the bone. And we'll wind up with one that we can do a lot for, and that's wooden tongue. I don't know if you can see it here, but that's the tongue sticking out uh, on this. So their tongue is protruding, and literally it, it feels like a piece of wood. It's, it's uh, very hard um, uh, granulomatous abscessation of the tongue. And here, sodium iodide IV is our drug of choice. Uh, we don't know why it works, because uh, we don't consider it typically an antibacterial. Uh, maybe it's immune modulation, maybe it's anti-inflammatory, but they respond very quickly to sodium iodide. Though, uh, if you don't have sodium iodide, you've got a variety of other antibiotics that you can, uh, can throw in there. <laughs>